Okay, guys, so for number 27, we've been given the QNH, the pressure altitude, which is 8,500, the outside air temperature, which is minus 10, okay? So just pardon me, I will set up the thing here. So the first thing, when you get this, you ask, what is the true altitude? The first thing you need to do is to draw. And how do you draw? You draw from where your aircraft is. This is your aircraft. So your aircraft is there. So this level up to the data what the up to the data which can be anywhere so i'm just looking at how it's showing in the name so this is from here where the aircraft is to here this vertical distance this vertical distance is eight thousand 500 feet and because it's flight level it is measured from mean sea level isa setting which is 1013 so height above 1013 is, is what we call as flight level yeah so that is your height 8500 but your qnh is 9983 so is 983 supposed to be higher than this or lower where ask yourself this where do we have low pressure as you go up or as you go down obviously as you go up the pressure becomes lower so the qnh should be somewhere here so this is 983 so this distance this distance is what you're looking for so this question has two parts the first one is uh correction for altitude correction so the first one is altitude correction and the second one is temperature second one is temperature correction okay so uh, for altitude correction you can see what is the difference we need this height we have this the distance from here to here you know it's 8500 so we need just the distance from uh, qnh to where the aircraft is so first of all the difference between these two 93 and 1013 is 30. so you need to find a way of converting this 30 hectopascal to feet so that you can subtract it so you know that one hectopascal above 1500 feet is equivalent to 30 a change of 30 feet what about 30 it will be 930 by 30 which is 900 feet so the first step of correction is so this if from here to here is 8500 and then here is 30 hectopascal which you have found it's an equivalent of 900 feet 900 feet so obviously this distance from here is 8500 minus 900 so we get 7600 feet so this value is what we want to con correct for the temperature change so for the temperature change so for, for the temperature correction So for the temperature correction, uh, you've already done uh, the altitude correction. So the second part is the temperature correction. So how do you go about the temperature correction? So the formula that you're supposed to use is 4%. Uh, you apply 4% for every 10 degree deviation from ISA. And then you multiply by the height that you have already corrected for. So please note that this height is not the initial height that you are given, but is the height that you have corrected for after doing the first part, which for our case we have found to be 7600. So 4% of 
4% per 10 degree of ISA deviation. So for our case, it was perfect because it was ISA minus 10. So the deviation was just 10 degrees. The deviation was 10 degrees. So we just, there was only, there's only one 4% that we use. So it's 4% times how many 10 deviation is one. So if, for example, it was 15 or 25, ISA plus 25, you would have put how many tens are there in 25 degrees? Those are 2.5. So you would have put 2.5 in this place. So for in our, in our case, because it was 10, we just put one. So it's 4% times one times what we have corrected for, the altitude height that you have corrected for, which is 7,600 feet. So if you do that, you get 76 by four, which gives you 304. So 304 is the temperature correction so if it is colder than i say what you do is you minus from what you have already calculated what you had gotten so if it was plus you just add the altitude if it's minus you subtract from from the correct from the first correction so for this case it's 7600 subtract 304 you get 7296 which is the answer in number 27 so that's it